tropical bonbon together we make very beautiful tropical bonbon and we will know and we'll do everything together and how to make this beautiful color and what is the percentage of the color and cocoa butter soon if you're interested by french pastry soon i will post this video in the website so if you leave comment i will do it fast first i spray the mold as you see i spray the mold 100 gram cacao butter or cocoa butter with 10 gram ruby color and they have so many video how to mix it together then you strain with light cloth and then you tempering the chocolate the best temperature for spraying is 29 centigrade and the best compressor is 8 millimeter point dot eight after we spray the road the ruby color then we spray white color white color is 100 gram cocoa butter 10 gram titanium oxide and already we explain that in so many videos so i didn't want to waste your time i timber i timbering a dark chocolate 30 degree then i cover the mold then i keep it at least 30 to 50 second and then i shake all out and then i make sure that i have light shell inside the mold when I have light shell inside the mold, I leave it upside down to crystallization. It takes almost five to 10 minutes. Anyway, I spray the mold and I make this ganache one day before. So I spray the mold and I leave it at least six hour. Then I added the chocolate to make shell. After that, I leave it overnight and I make the ganache also overnight. Let's do this amazing ganache. 20 gram thermoline, 3 gram lemon zest, 50 gram fresh cream, 20 gram lemon juice, 50 gram passion puree, 2 gram sorbitol, as you see this sorbitol, and 2 gram basil leaf. Basil leaf shredded, I will add it later. So the sorbitol, it's keep the moist. And this two gram shredded basil, I leave it in the freezer. I have it already. I cut it small. I keep big quantity in the freezer. I take one spoon, two spoon when I need it. Then I boil it all together and I strain everything. When I keep it boiled for two, three minutes, as you see, I strain step by step on top of the chocolate 200 gram dark chocolate of course if you have big strainer so i don't do all the time i rem i remind because it's small strainer i i strain little by little then i add it all when it's hot to the 200 gram dark chocolate and when I mix it with hand blender, when I, I, I reach 30 degree, I added 30 gram of butter. And this very light ganache full of flavor. Let's see, do it again. 20 gram thermoline, term, 3 gram lemon zest, 50 gram fresh cream, 20 gram lemon juice, 50 gram passion puree. 2 gram sorbitol, 2 gram basil leaf, shred it, 50 gram mango dice, boil all together for 2-3 minutes, then I strain all the juice on top of 200 gram dark chocolate. I use handy blender until all dissolve. When reach 30 degree, I added 30 gram of butter and my ganache overnight is ready so the day after 
The chocolate crystallization, the ganache is very good temperature. I pour into piping back and as you see, I feel the whole mold. It's very important step. When you spray the mold, you keep it at least five to six hour in room temperature before you cover the chocolate. And when you cover the chocolate, you make the shell, leave it overnight. You didn't need to put in the fridge. And when you leave it after overnight, I added my ganache. I feel all mold as you see. Then I cover with the dark chocolate. I make sure the mold is clean. Then I keep it in the freezer or the fridge 10 to 15 minutes when I have right crystallization I remove into plate and this is tropical praline I hope you like the video leave the comment please